All right, guys. Good morning and good evening to everybody around the world. So let's let's see what happened to Bitcoin today. So Bitcoin did a nasty uh, dump to the downside. It's not a dump, but it's uh, you know it was it was predicted, right? Remember we saw the the rising wedge broke down and just this and then we hit the the volume node, the volume the VRVP, and then reject it. Now we're down further. Now, if I actually p I extended this VRVP here, or VIXED FR FRVP, now the the um, the red line is now lower, so it's the, the new resistance. But if you actually look, it's just there's a rectangle here of support and resistance. So we just in this zone, right? If we break below, we're gonna head all the way down to 50, 60k, and we don't want to do that. Where there's you know some some more support at sixty one seven, but those are insignificant. So if we look further, if you zoom out a little bit more, this this is the zone I was talking about. So it's right, it's about right here, sixty one. You can you can call it a range, but sixty one three seems okay. So, but there are our, our last resort is 59.6 because uh, our last low was down here and then we tried to get it here and here again we don't want to get there so what's happening let's get rid of this so if we do see if we do see this sort of flag right here we're still in the middle of it Stoch stochastic for four hours low but it could stay could stay down now I see a so we want to see more local time frames right now so since well today's right here so since yesterday we've been just going sideways and since we don't go back break back above we will go down further and this doesn't play out so you can either see this as a further falling wedge that's going to break above and you can also see a bullish divergence going to change this color so that goes slower the RSI is higher like so it's on an hourly one hour time frame so that would be a really really strong divergence Anyhow, so if that's our low and that's a support, that makes sense. Now, can we break above? So that's we look at the smaller time frames. So our stochastics say we're going up. If we can do break back, we have to break at least sixty-five k and close above for the one-hour time frame. Fifty minutes says we have to. We're either done and we have to go back to the bottom of this, or it was it will get pinned and something else happens. You know, I can also see a forming a reverse or inverse tr um, head and shoulders pattern, and that could break us at least to the top of this um, rectangular zone here. Five minute, same same situation. So this is the fifteen and the one hour that's key for us today. Uh, one minute says we are over way oversold and we could have another run and you can you can either dip down here and then go back up and this is a, an, another flag here so the target will be the same uh, slightly lower because the flag usually starts lower you know with the head and shoulders all the way up here right the neckline so that's what I see in the Bitcoin for the for the day. So hourly, nothing interesting. So weekly, as long as we're above, you know, sixty five k, I would say it's good. But right now we're not. So you know, as long as we're above, I would say this zone here, because that's between. 
you know the previous you know the uh, 64k high and the close of that so that's what we should be doing uh, in the overall market not doing too well but we know we had a lot of double digits uh, increases last uh, yesterday Floki's uh, well it was I, I saw it was going back to two thousand twenty thousand I believe I had a position around here or so that's pretty high up but yeah total market cap and Zen so it's pretty pretty um, boring today but uh, you know the last 10 hours was, was pretty boring so we'll see how it goes uh, we'll try to give you further updates throughout the day if possible th as, as a short other than that I will see you guys tomorrow right Friday it's also not a good time to trade Thursday is the last day I would trade right but again this is uh, not a financial advice so get your own as a financial advisor uh, make sure you if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can um, get all the updates and uh, see you in the next video